on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Now, let's go back to Izuku with him learning about this whole. Yeah, quirks came from conduits and yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how it is now. So not only was he hella lucky, considering that, well, I guess I'm not actually. Not only was I not quirkless, but. Huh. Wait. Wouldn't that mean my. Well, my parents would have to be a conduit? What? No, no, think about it. If I got the quirk and conduit gene, when I had to get one of each from both my parents or someone in a distant past? Huh. Now that you think about it. Hmm. That should make sense, but... Was there anyone who could absorb someone else's powers like you did mine? That's... That could be a whole new can of worms when you really think about it, kid. Your way training's done right now. You, you can go home. Is yes, Cole and Recovery Girl pretty much. Whew. At least we're not lying to the kid. Yeah, but we haven't told him the whole truth yet either. Not yet, that is. As soon as Ziku goes home, he realizes. Okay. So. I am a quirk slash conduit person. Hmm. That's very interesting. And now I, I learn that conduits and quirk people are technically related. And my parents, or at least one of them, might. Is really starting to freak out. Starting to spark up a storm until Boy Boy Ikachi. Burst down his door and say, Are you alright? Seeing how, yeah, everything in his room is pretty much fried. Her, like, upset, but. Is something bothering you? Uh, no, no, Mom. I'm a fine. I just have a lot to really think about, that's all. Look. I know this whole you getting a quirk thing is still new despite all the practice you've done and everything, but you gotta remember it's, it's if, what, nothing, I just, I forgot what I was talking about, never mind I guess. You go walking away like, say, wait, you, what, what do you mean? You you forgot where you, mom? Her just closing the door. What was that? Okay, that's that was weird. As he decides to go about his days training. Learning how uh, ways to utilize his power as well as manifesting it, and trying to be outstanding citizen of society. Easier said than done, we consider all the nonsensical fuckery afoot. But luckily for Izuku, since Recovery Girl is actually part of this, the Oko is not a hero, as long as they're considered or at least given permission. From a hero to use their quirks. Yeah. Loopholes, you gotta love them. 
Uziku actually does get some technical fighting experience. Recovery girl don't want him to get seriously injured, but don't want him to feel like he has to be saved and whatnot. And this is going on for years, up till the end of middle school. Uziku has been training, he's felt good about everything he's done. Was <clears throat> uh, what's wrong, Cole? Uh, nothing. I just, I just don't feel. I'm, I don't feel so hot right now. I. Uh. If anything, don't worry about it. I'll I'll be better soon. I promise. Izuku trusting him to a certain extent. As he continue on training at Dagobah Beach, and Cole is getting seemingly more fatigued and tired. Izuku would be more than happy to share some. That sweet, sweet electricity with him, which does take the edge off. The curvy girl knows what's going on. But should she tell Izuku? Or should she let Cole do it? That is a good question. But would he? Could he? Hmm. Only time will tell. As right now, it's two months in. Izuku, he's learned to actually manifest things such as claws, swords, even having a, you could say, finger gun when it comes to him pointing and shooting. Hell, he's even learned how to surf the power lines. Much to the worrisomeness of individuals who don't know. But Recovery Girl, she's pretty much... <sighs> Please, stop getting hurt so much. Why? Why? I have you to heal me, don't I? <sighs> it would be better if you didn't need to be healed. Her pretty much being a, being joking and whatnot, and then it's like, you know what? You you need to be humbleized a little bit. Hmm. Yes, I decided you were going to be humbleized. Her pretending on her phone and calling All Might. Izuku's like, oh, 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 no, no, no. Yes. Um, recovery girl, you called me saying that you need me to put the fear of God into someone. Is this kid the person you were talking about? Yes. He's too reckless. And it could cost him his life if he's not careful. Oh my. I'm going to need you to beat the ever loving shit out of him. What? But I'm the number one hero. I, I protect the innocent. Not no, he's not innocent. Uh, it could cause more harm than good if he doesn't learn how to rein in his power, or at least stop his show off. So reckless. Oh my, seeing Yuzuku, he's. Halfway scared and heavily like, oh my god, it's all my, this is awesome. Also, Tenko is there. <laughs> Him being like, uh, Uncle Might, I don't think this would be a good idea. At the very least, you should, uh, how about I'll f fight him, if nothing else. Really? Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, it's the least I can do to repay 
the debt I owe you for your kindness. Uh, well, I I don't deserve that kind of praise. I should have a hero should have gone to you sooner. Yeah, sooner would have been better, but you saved me just in time. Izuku's is this really gonna happen? Who am I fighting? Please tell me who is going to be responsible for killing me this day. I will. Tenko, he's just getting to fighting like stands. Izuku's okay. What's your quirk? Mine is an electricity manipulation. What about yours? Decay. What? Yeah. I have to put all five fingers on, on my target for it to disintegrate. Crumble, decay into nothingness. So, all I have to do is make sure you don't touch me and I'm safe. Yes. Okay. Let's do this. That's two kills already gone. It's like, uh, what? No! Izuku just running around in circles looking, wait, wait, where'd he go? Then he notices a hole where Jigo was standing. It's like, wait, why is this? No. As then he, he feels something grab onto his leg and he gets dragged down. Him worry, what the hell just happened? As he gets punched, kicked, and tossed into the air and body slammed. You liar! Huh? You, you said Quark was a K. Well, it, it was. I mean, it still is, but I learned how to use it in different ways. It's kind of like being able to surf through ground. Or swim, really. I, I can decay the area around me to nothingness, making it so I can f move freely. It's actually quite helpful when it comes to applying escape routes and, you know, rescue missions. Oh man, that was tiresome. As yes, Izuku and Tinko are covered in a shit ton of bruises. Tinko pretty much being declared a victor, considering Izuku has a few more. But yes, this was actually an eye opening experience for Izuku. Though, no, though he knows that already he had disadvantage, considering. Hell, All Might was his trainer, but, hmm, you never realized how useful such dangerous quirks can be. Koski's quirk is one thing, but Decay? Well, that, that has to take some getting used to. And the applications for it are incredible. But then he realizes, huh, I am weak as hell, aren't I? No, you're not. If anything, you did better than I anticipated. However, I did want you to get your butt kicked by all might. Hmm. A person can dream. God. <laughs> Okay, okay, I deserve that, I guess. But still, his quirk, it's, 
I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's kind of scary. So being able to use electricity however you see fit. <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> well, as long as you understand. Right. So, how's a uh, coal? He's doing better. And he says uh, he knows you can become a great hero and everything Wait, what aren't you telling me I think he should tell you but what if you won't then I will tell you what's wrong with him deal fine is you going to, to a hospital which Cole, he's pretty much not on a respirator, but he is looking uh, a lot more pale than he should. <sighs> well, uh, I didn't expect you to come visit me so soon. What's wrong with you? I'm guessing she told you. She only told me where you were. I suppose that she wanted you to tell me what's wrong with you. Uh, well, as you know, as you know, I've told you, I am the first conduit. Yeah, yeah, I know that, so, well, compared to uh, others, mine is, I was pretty much a science experiment, or at least a test subject. Uh-huh, I get that. My uh, court gene is different from how they progressed up till now. I am the prime conduit. But uh, that has its disadvantages. You see, one of the reasons why I didn't want you to uh, get too close to me because of the strange urge I feel. What? Yeah. My body is saying that I'm at the end of my rope. I can still absorb electricity, sure, but that only stalls the inevitable. And I decided that since you gained my abilities that you would be a worthy successor and protector. What? You see, my power is very picky about who it wants to get into contact with. And you are the perfect person having both the conduit gene and the quirk gene. That makes you one of the best candidates for it. And it knew that. You're acting like your powers are sentient. <laughs> they had more sway that you truly realize. I think of it like this. As first there's blue electricity. Suku's like okay. Then he 
red starts sparking in his other hand. But what? You see, I have what can be called a karma esque skill set. If anything, all conduits have it. And <laughs> I watch a fine line between good and evil became neutral. Sometimes I need the lighter aspects of my abilities, other times I need the darker version. Before I did that, I had to be a little bit more good or a little bit more evil when using my powers and some of the decisions I've made. I don't know if all of my decisions were good ones or if they're even justifiable. But one decision that I know was a good one was choosing you. Uh, but I, I'm flattered, but so you're saying that your body's going to give out on you. My power is the only thing that's been keeping me alive all these years. Since it was passed on to you, I'm on borrowed time. Well, can I just give you your power back? No. No, no. No, you should be able to do that anyway. If you could, you don't know the effects that it could have. It could save you, and possibly kill you as well. But we don't know. You could end up killing both of us. <sighs> Listen, I know that we may not know each other for too long, but I <sighs> see you more as just a student. You're more like a. I can't believe I'm saying this about son to me. If anything, I... I enjoyed the time we spent together. I don't regret a single second. Not at all. So I can at least die with a smile on my face. Knowing that the future is in good hands with you in it. I want you to follow your dreams, Izuku. Don't let anyone tell you you can't be a hero. Cole, closing his eyes. With a smile. Izuku crying, yelling, asking for a nurse, a doctor, yelling, He's dead, he's dead, someone revive him. I'm not dead. Huh? I'm just trying to get some sleep. Uh, oh, damn, Here's, this is a hospital, enough with the yelling, could have scared people back down to death, kid, damn, man, I'm sorry, I just thought, yeah, yeah, I understand, but, ugh, just jumping to conclusions like that, you gotta fix that, just cause you see a red substance on the floor does not mean it's blood. It doesn't? No, it could be anything from ketchup, jam, uh, hair dye, you know, food coloring. You never know, really. Maybe you smell iron, then maybe you can make that assumption, but no. This or everything is as it seems. Huh. Alright. Okay, uh, thank you. <sighs> Just... You can go out uh, uh, as soon as I get discharged. Uh, we can continue our training. No, you need rest. What? Listen, kid, I can take care of myself. You don't have to worry about me. <sighs> now, if you don't mind, I might have to 
Can the nurse read me a go bedtime story? Uh, okay. He's a goo just walking away. <laughs> I can't believe it. So, wait, did he know this was going to happen? If he did, how, how do you know I was a conduit? Wait, wait. I mean, if he didn't know, but what if he didn't, then that could have been one hell of a gamble. Maybe his quirk or conduit? Gene found me. <sighs> it was weird enough with quirks as it, but now conduits. Seriously, is he's pondering this? He's wondering. Okay, so this is got a little bit more complicated. Everything else that's happened wasn't as bad as I thought. Except if I've had to be Larry that my uh, master is dying. So, good. Good, good, good day. I got it like this. Could be a lot worse. He's a good quiet himself to sleep. As he waits for Cole to finally get released. So he does. Izuku is one of the first people to run up and hug him. Recovery girl being all stoic is like... Embarrassing him, child. Well, uh, uh, I hmm. don't worry, I didn't say it was prohibited. Uh, really? Yes, kid, it's just that you look kind of like a wife who's. Who finally gets to see her uh, husband after so long on a business trip or something? I uh, I don't get it. Ugh, you missed him a lot. Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's that's pretty accurate. Good. But seriously, kid. No matter how much power you have, you're still you. So, what kind of training do you want to do, Cole? Mm, uh, are we taught him healing yet? Mm, no, I don't think so. Wait, I can heal? Yeah. Seriously, you have no idea how many times I had to heal cowering citizens for the big bad corporation and other conduits it's a whole thing there's there's a lot that goes into this it's okay understood why you seem upset or at least concerned I don't have a top hat like that <coughs> what, top top hat what what are you as yes he looks at a billboard Wait, what's that got to do with the situation? Oh, nothing. I just thought that would be a great way to break the ice after you telling me what was wrong with you. Uh, <clears throat> Seriously, Zuko. How, how, what does this world do to deserve someone so pure hearted as you? Cool. I think it's time we tell them some more information we've been hiding. Uh, more secrets? Yes. Yes, more secrets. As then, as I, Cole comes out with this bag. As in, as I, you have to swear you won't tell anyone about this. Um, okay. Depends, depends. What's in the bag? A mistake. A drastically destructive mistake. 
It's called Taze Out or Race Sphere. Izuku's like, uh, wait, is it? Correct. It is indeed a rule. Uh, race Sphere. Remember when we went to fight that villain? Well, technically you did that. I just tried to stay out of the way. Right. If anything, there are so many other worlds to be explored. And at the very least, you'll have a piece of me with you. <laughs> but I I hesitated when I realized what I've become. You see, you already know my backstory. story. You know about the race fears and what they do, what they did do. It was terrible. Some people called me a hero, others a monster. That even my girl would look at me the same. I got blamed for everything at the beginning. I just didn't know what I was carrying in there. I felt so, such shame that I actually contemplated taking a swan dive. No one wanted to spend time with me, say thank you for this or that, and believe me, I would do a lot of favors, housewise. But something was keeping me from doing it. I didn't want to be a monster. I did want to be a hero myself. And though I got limited if I any praise, it was my actions that proved me worthy to call myself a hero. You go clapping because to him that's an inspirational speech of all my caliber. And okay, goodbye. Uh, you see you see you uh, next time. So you actually hang on to them for me for safekeeping, you know? As yes, now we're halfway through the ten months of trading. Izuku is pretty much like, oh, okay. So I, honest to God, have devices capable of terrifying proportions of because of destruction. But there is actually a chance that someone might get a similar power. That could be very terrifying if you don't know who is a conduit. So you can't just go around pointing fingers saying, where's the conduit? But it's actually kind of interesting considering one of these like his master is strong as he is now. He has a bag full of 20 of them. But so weird. How? How in the hell would someone be able to make a race fair unless they have all the documentation? Every place where they spoke their business was in a public place. Almost like they knew someone was watching or someone uh, gave them the wrong vibe. You know, kind of like crazy ex-girlfriends. He can watch you back as many times as you want, but ugh, crazy is forever with some people. Now, Let's get to your ship. What? I'm kidding. Ugh, you'll have to build it first. Huh? Don't worry. If anything, 
I know you'll be just fine. Okay, but what about this whole thing? Don't worry about it. Uh, okay. As in, it's near the end. Izuku is trained up, and everything's going great. Peachy. Except for Cole. He's, he's not looking so hot at all. He can barely stand up move feels as though he's crumbling to nothingness the point where yes he's kind of like uh, okay it's like I may be on cigar at the end of the line he's just cool. Now it is your responsibility to protect those race fears with your life. But I, I really don't. It's fine. There's no need to be afraid. At the very least, I know you're more than capable of handling yourself. You are the best student anyone could ask for. <laughs> Believe me, I was, I may not have been the best, but I don't think I was the worst at school. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, don't try to, to make fun on, in this situation. It's, you're, if you're not feeling well, that's, is it kind of wrong to start laughing? <laughs> Sometimes laughter is all you have. Faith gets tested all the time. When something isn't fair, when you get something that you feel like you didn't deserve. Uh, you do deserve this power, Izuku. Don't let anyone tell you different. You are so special with this power. You will be great. The greatest hero, I know that for sure. Wait, why are you, why are you talking like that? No need to worry about it. It's just, After so many years, I, I, I can finally rest. But you. <laughs> I never thought it would be someone like you. Someone so kind, trustworthy, besides, you know, who just desperately towards a girl, girl whose back is turned. So, all I can say is, well, borrowing a line from a certain someone, go beyond. <laughs> Plus, Ultra. <laughs> oh, that's cringy when I say it, don't it? This is... I can't believe after all this time. So much. I've been, uh, there are some things that would change in the heartbeat. But then again, I probably would have never met you, huh, kid? Uh, uh, but I, 
I I don't know what to say. Trust me. It's hard to speak your mind sometimes. As then he starts to close his eyes again. Follow your dream. Zuku whispering, please don't go.